We're just checking to see if we're south enough to the butter melts, right? I'm just getting off watch, and I'm gonna do my boat check. Just looking for leaks and drips and things like that. Everything looks dry, which is great. Exactly how we expect it to be, but we check every three hours anyways. Check everywhere, check the toilet. You don't see anything, which is good. Someone needs to do the dishes. You know who's supposed to do the dishes? The off-going watch person. Well, only if they made the mess. Good, good. I am looking for, at the water level in the bilge, just to monitor it. It's pretty shallow, which is good. I'm also gonna check the seawater strainer and just a few of the various other things that we check at engine check. The seawater strainer is a little furry. Probably needs to be cleaned out. <laughs> but the Raycor looks good. That looks good. Ports are open. But that's okay, because we're all aware of it. Okay, so that's a boat check. Stem to stern boat check. We do a similar thing out on deck. Boat check. And then um, do a log entry. Oh, we also check to see how Dizzy's doing. <laughs> oh, baby. So sweet. You're the sweetest kitty. <laughs> On deck, boat Cleaning up the, lash, the lines, checking the loft. <laughs> now we have to do the log entry and check the checklist to make sure we've got everything. Boat check. Let's see. Yes, yes, checked all that. 10 to 15 knots east. That's supposed to be east. Five eighths cloud cover um, barometer ten thirty one two three battery thirteen point four and twelve point eight are the batteries. Still putting money in the bank, We're still going to the east. See on the five knots. We're close haul here. Just wondering if we can crack off a little bit and actually head more towards like Barbuda, whatever's out here. I don't know if we need to be going this far east. We definitely got a lot of money in the bank now. Feels like it. Well, and if we crack off a little bit, we should gain a little bit of speed too, right? That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. So we don't have to adjust the monitor much, right? We do no. like a half an inch gives us maybe a degree. Well, a couple degrees probably. Cool. Yeah, why don't you crack the main a little bit? That's good. All right, that looks a little better. We're heading right towards Barbuda. Time to wake up Skippy. Filming me when you wake me up for watch. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're doing really well. We're doing like five and a half to six. Got the monitor steering. I want faster than six knots. You do? Well, I was well, hand steering for a while to try to see if I can do any better. No, so it is. the wind the is up and down. The monitor does just fine. Anyway, it's really nice. I think you'll be warm enough in just a short sleeve. Maybe you want to fleece in a little bit, but it's really warm. <sighs> Would you like a tour of my bunk? Yes, please. This is where I sleep, pinned up against the wall and rehealing to starboard. Yes. And right here is my pencil. And here is my cubby. And uh, type 1 PFDs. Type 1 PFDs, very nice. So 
So it's uh, about quarter to two in the morning, Tuesday to 24th. I think we're about 250 miles away from our destination. Beautiful night, light winds. This is by far the calmest night we've had so far. Absolutely. I love the fact that I don't even have the compass light on. I'm just steering by the moonlight. What's going on, Matey B? We're going to strike the staysail and we're going to set the jib. Why? Winds died a little bit. We need more power. I'd like to use one of my lifelines. Because you can't change the sail without wearing a GoPro. Got to be a hero. All right, I'm moving into position. You guys are acting like you're going into battle. We are going into this battle. This is a mission. We're on it's a mission. It's brutal out there. That foredeck is no place for games. Ready on the sheet? We're ready here. Coming down. Maybe a beautiful sunrise in the east, but what we're all real excited about, right there, a little bit of St. Martin on Thanksgiving morning. That was the goal. Thoughts? Uh, just absorbing all the beauty. That's so sweet. Recognizing the 900 mile passage is nearly over. The question is, who saw St. Martin first? Cool, it's pretty all the buildings up the side of the hill. This bay coming up is where all the good restaurants are, so we're gonna have to be sure to stop there. I think we all need a shower first. Well, at least you three boys do.